Matthew Stratton. For the first time, Rockford is getting hundreds of thousands of dollars to make neighborhoods safer. Project Safe Neighborhoods targets gun crimes, and it helps police do that through funding. 13 News reporter Richard Bodie shows us how the Rockford Police Department plans to use that money. Violent crime is a problem in Rockford. Rockford and Chicago have the two most violent crime problems of the Northern Illinois District. But Rockford's getting help fighting that violent crime to the tune of $904,000. Provides a lot of um, upfront capital for the next two years for us to you know, bring in capital improvements, uh, equipment, as well as bring in a part-time IT specialist and do some preventative programs as well. So it's a pretty all-encompassing grant. 70% of the grant will go towards enforcement efforts, 20% towards preventative efforts, and 10% to administrative efforts. But the idea is to specifically target gun violence. Cameras, automated license plate readers, gunshot detection system, that all uh, focuses on where we have our highest violent crime. In terms of preventative measures, the Rockford Police are creating a juvenile initiative program. We're looking to implement a program for juveniles to divert them or catch them before they become victims of domestic violence. And the reason Rockford's getting nearly a million dollars is actually due to immigration issues. Chicago is a sanctuary city mm -hmm. and Rockford isn't. Okay, and that's why you think we got the funding? That is why we got the funding. Okay. The money is from 2018's grant award, but was held up in court due to immigration laws and is just now being allocated. Before the money can be doled out, the Region 1 Planning Council is working with the police department to complete its strategic plan that it says will make your neighborhood safer in the future. For your 13 Weather Authority, Richard Bode, 13 News. Chief O'Shea says the Rockford Police Department expects to receive that grant money in early 2020. Meanwhile,